Group 2 introns are long RNAs with an intronic open reading frame that encodes for a protein cofactor called maturase. A group 2 intron can fold into a six-domain structure. Domain 1 folds first, acting as a scaffold for folding of the rest of the intron domains. Domain 4 functions as the anchor for the maturase protein. The maturase then facilitates docking of domain 6, also called the branch helix, in the horizontal position. Formation of the RMP positions the branch point adenosine close to the 5' splice site. The intron splices the 5' exon through branching via a nucleophilic attack, creating a lariat in the RNA. The branch helix then undergoes a 90-degree swing to the vertical position. This moves the lariat away while bringing the 3' exon into the active site. Exon ligation happens via a second nucleophilic attack. The ligated exon is then released from the group 2 intron RNP. These structures altogether provide a holistic view of the biochemical mechanism of intron branching. In addition, we have visualized the branch point adenosine in action, revealing its active role in finely tuning the branching pathway through conformational changes. The group 2 intron RNP structures provide new insights into the molecular evolution of splicing machineries. Comparison with the eukaryotic spliceosome reveals highly conserved motions of the branch helix underlying the transition between the intron branching and exon ligation steps.